OK, yeah, we'll see. Try to solve this problem. So first is. Uh, we'll highlight this one. So 5000 kg per hour of SO2 and air mixture is there. So air mixture it is means it's a gas waste containing 5 percentage by volume SO2 is to be scrubbed or scrubbed or adsorbed. Both are same. OK, scrubbers, venturi scrubber or uh, this also we can use as a absorbers and scrubbed with 2 lakh kg per hour of water in a packet tower. The exit concentration of SO2 is reduced to 0 0.015. So exit concentration of SO2 means gas outlet concentration. Gas in the gas outlet SO2 concentration is 0.15 percentage. Then the tower operates at one atmospheric pressure. So that is uh, uh, PT total pressure. Then the equilibrium relationship is given by Y is equal to 30 X. So where Y they have defined as a mole ratios moles per moles of SO2 per moles of air and X is also moles per uh, moles of SO2 per moles of water. So if the packet height of the tower is 420 centimeters means Z is equal to 420, then estimate the height of the transfer unit. So HTU they are asking to estimate us. OK, so let us write the given data first. OK, a tower is there which is a packet tower. So in this packet tower we know that uh, there will be a gas inlet here. And here the gas outlet will be there and liquid inlet will be there at the top. And this is. Liquid outlet. Liquid outlet. So now we have this gas inlet, liquid uh, liquid outlet and uh, liquid inlet and outlet gas outlet. So all this. So what are the required parameters we have to identify here? So this is 5000 kg per hour of SO2 air mixture, meaning 5000 kg per hour is G capital G. G is equal to 5000 kg per hour. So that is mass flow rate. OK, this mass flow rate we have to convert into moles. Why? Because this compositions they have given in mole percentage. So volume percentage for the gases. We know that volume percentage is equal to mole percentage is equal to uh, pressure percentage. We know this fact. So here it is given by volume means it is also a mole percentage. So this is given in mole percentage. So 5 percentage by volume uh, SO2 means only 5 percentage of uh, your gas mixture is SO2. So that is uh, let us define this one variables. So let us give the variables 1 to the bottom and 2 to the top variables. This is small y1 is equal to 5 percentage 5 divided by 100. So around 0 0.05 it will come. So 0 0.05 is the your uh, SO2 composition in the gas inlet is to be scrubbed with uh, liquid. So water here water is 2 lakhs kg per hour of water. So L is equal to 2 lakhs kg per hour. So this is also in kg per hour. OK, mass flow rate they have given of water in a packet hour. So the exit concentration of SO2 is reduced to 0.15 percentage. So exit concentration means gas exit or outlet is this one. So this is Y. OK, same G is equal to same will be there. L is equal to here also outlet also L and G both are same. OK, Y2 is equal to 0 0.15 divided by percentage. This is so 100. So that will be around 0 0.0015 it will be coming. The next the data is total pressure is equal to PT is equal to one atma they have given and the equilibrium relationship Y is equal to 30 X they have given. So Y is in uh, moles per mole means it is molar ratio. X is also moles per mole. It is also molar ratio. Then if the packed height of the tower is so 420 centimeter that is 420 Z is equal to 420 centimeters. So we know that Z is equal to HTU into NTU. We know that one, but they are asking estimate the height of the transfer unit. So height of the transfer unit means this one HTU is is equal to what they are asking. So they have given this one already. 
so we don't know this also ntu also we don't know if we can calculate the ntu estimate the ntu then we have a z value then easily we can calculate the ntu value so that's the given data here okay is that clear given data to you yes sir yes sir okay then now let us solve the problem so how to solve this problem first okay so here small y1 is there okay there also small y2 is there okay all these are the mole fractions okay since from the percentages we are converting this one so these are called as a mole fraction first let us convert this into the mole ratios so we know that formula capital y is equal to small y by 1 minus small y and also capital x is equal to small x by 1 minus small x so we have seen in the mass transfer one course this two formulas if you want once again i will derive or otherwise shall i let this like this can you remember this one please let me know shall i derive this once again or you will remember this formulas so we have solved this one y is equal to capital y by 1 plus capital y and small x is equal to capital x by 1 plus uh, capital x okay this we have seen earlier okay so you better remember this one okay if you are uh, any anybody is not aware with that one just approach me i will be solving solving for for you so now here this is a small wise so capital wise we have to calculate that is capital y1 is equal to small y1 divided by 1 minus small y1 so y1 is 0.05 small y1 so this is 0.05 divided by 1 minus 0.05 so is equal to something you will get then capital y2 is equal to small y2 divided by 1 minus small y2 is equal to something you will get y2 is 0.0015 0.0015 divided by 1 minus 0.0015 so this will be is equal to something Okay, these two values you will get. Can anybody please tell these values? Zero point zero five two six. Zero point zero five two six. Zero point zero five two six. Y two zero point zero zero one five zero. One five zero. Same one five only will come. Okay. Then next is now these are all in the mole ratios. It are there. But here if you see G is equal to five thousand kg per hour. This is molar uh, mass flow rate. And here also two lakh kg per hour mass flow rate. But whereas this y quantity is everything or the molar ratio, molar ratios that are. So we need to convert the g and l to the mole ratios. That is, g and l is given in kg per hour. So we need to convert them into kilo mole per hour. So how to convert that one? Kg per hour uh, divided by kilo mole per hour. Uh, not uh, okay. Kg per hour. Okay. So kg per hour they have given. So we need to convert them into kilo mole per hour. Then what we will do? We will divide in uh, divide using this uh, uh, molecular weight. Okay, if the if it is divided by molecular weight, what happens? Kg per kg mole is the molecular weight for uh, molecular weight uh, units. So this is molecular weight. So then this kg this kg will be cancelled and this will be going to the extreme numerator. Then you can convert easily to kilo mole per hour. So for a first, uh, let us say it is a mixture of SO2 and air. Okay, is mixture of SO2 and air. So first, let us calculate the molecular weight of SO2. So molecular weight of SO2 is equal to what is the molecular weight of SO2? Sulfur is 32 plus oxygen 64. is 16 into 2 is equal to 64 am i right 64 no gurudev yes sir yeah then next is molecular weight of air okay air we already know 79 percentage around n2 will be there and 21 percentage something o2 will be there so directly you can calculate using this one or you can calculate you can just remember this one 29 or we can take 28.85 kg per kg mole of air kg per kg mole air like this we can take okay either of the case 28.85 or 29 nearly you can take 
So these are the molecular weights. Now after uh, approaching the molecular weight, in the feed composition or in the feed gas, what is the composition? 5 percentage is SO2. So this is SO2 is 5 percentage in the gas inlet and remaining will be 95 percentage will be air. OK, so now we have to since this are not individual composition, this is gas is composed of air plus SO2. So we need to calculate average molecular weight. Molecular weight of gas mixture. So gas is a mixture of SO2 and air. So that is we already know this formula sigma I is equal to 1 to N Xi into Mi where Xi is mole fraction of ith species. This is molecular weight of ith species. So here X we are using X notation for the liquid phase and Y notation for the gas phase we are using. So we can write this formula, rewrite this formula once again like this Yi into Mi where Yi is the mole fraction of i th species and Mw, Mi is also the mole fraction of i th species. So our gas is composed of two components. So this I, we can write as I is equal to 1 to N is equal to only two gases are there. 1 to 2 Y i and mi so that is uh, so2 and this one is there air is there so that is y so2 mole fraction of so2 into molecular weight of so2 plus next next i is equal to 1 is this one i is equal to 2 is mole fraction of air into molecular weight of air so this one is the average molecular weight formula so in the inlet what is the mole fraction of SO2? That is 5 percentage. OK, 5 percentage is the SO2. That is 0 0.05. 0 0.05 into molecular weight of SO2 is 64. Plus air is remaining is the air. That is 0 0.95, 95 percentage. Into molecular weight of air is something like 29. OK, this you can calculate how much that is. Thirty point seventy five. Thirty point seven five kg per kg mole. So this is average molecular weight. Now we already have. We know that G is equal to around I think five thousand kg per hour. So this is five thousand kg per hour. So let us divide this with average molecular weight. Okay. G by average molecular weight, average molecular weight that is 5000 divided by average molecular weight is 30.75. So 5000 kg per hour, this one 30.75 will have a units of kg per kg mole. Then kg kg cancelled out. This will be extremely going to the numerator. Okay, 5000 divided by 30.75. So in kg per kilo, uh, kg mole per hour you will get this one. 162.6. 162.6. OK, kilo mole per hour. Then among this G, OK, this is the total gas flow rate. Total gas flow rate is this one G. So among this one, what is the air gas, uh, air flow rate? So air flow rate is equal to G. This is also G. G is equal to so 162.6 kg per hour. Out of this 162.6 kg per hour, we are having air as 95 percentage. Only air is there. So that is into 0 0.95 is equal to. One fifty four point five. One fifty four point five kilo mole per hour. So this one. Next we have a L also we have that also we have to convert into kilo mole per hour. That is L is equal to two lakh kg per hour. So liquid flow rate. L is equal to two lakh kg per 
R1. Now we will divide it with molecular weight. So this liquid flow rate means this liquid is water, nothing but water they have given. So water molecular weight is divided by 18. That is this is kg per kg mole. Once again kg kg cancel and it will be going to extreme numerator. That is 2 lakh divided by 18. One one. One one. Yes, sir. Kilo mole per hour. Okay, this you will get uh, this one. Then finally, now we already know a material balance. So how to balance this material balance? We already know. Once again, I am deriving that one material balance. It's a very simple. So every time you don't have to remember any formula here. Directly you can derive everything. So this is a gas inlet. This is a gas outlet. This is gas, liquid inlet and liquid outlet. So bottom variables we are considering as one and top variables we are considering as a two. So here it is G Y1. And this is L. This, this is X1. So the X1. So capital Y uh, capital X we will take. So this is L and X. This is two. So uh, L2 X2. Then this is G and Y2. So now we know that material balance is around the column is input is equal to output. Just simply the material balance without chemical reaction and at steady state is input is equal to output. So input is this one first input G into Y1 plus second input is L into X2 is equal to first output is G into Y2 plus second output is L into X1. Therefore, now this one, all the G variables we can separate on one side, all the X variables we can separate on other side. So that is GY1 minus GY2 is equal to LX1 minus LX2. So here we can take common G and L. So in these two variables, G we can take common G into Y1 minus Y2 is equal to L into X1 minus X2. So what are the values of X1, X2, Y1, Y2? We can uh, define that one. Using this, that formulas, we can calculate that. So here G is there, L is already there. Okay, Y1 and Y2 is also there. Okay, this Y1 and Y2 is also there. And what about X here? Okay, here what is the composition of X2? X2 will be zero. Whenever they are not given any composition, consider it as a pure water or a pure solvent. Considering a pure water, we are taking X2 as a zero inlet uh, uh, mole fraction of mole ratio of your solute in the inlet water is zero. We are considering. But what about X1? We don't know that one. So we have Y1, Y2 and X2 also we have X1. We don't know. So that X1 only we have to calculate using that material balance uh, formula. So G we already know G of the air is 154.5. That is 154.5 into Y1 uh, is Y1, Y1, Y1. Yeah, Y1 is 0 0.0526. 0 0.0526 minus Y2 is 0 0.0015. I hope so. 0 0.0015. Yeah, yes, 0 0.0015. Yeah. Is equal to L into. So already uh, we have uh, we don't know this X1. We are considering X2 is equal to zero since water we are considering as a pure. So X2 is equal to zero. So directly we can take it as a zero. So that is only X1. So therefore, uh, OK, here L is also there. L one value one also we have. One. Yeah, one one triple one. Huh? One one triple one into X1. Therefore, X1 is equal to 154.5 divided by 1131 into 0 0.0526 minus 0 0.0015. This one is equal to something you get. Sir. Yes. 0 0.007. 0 0.007. Yeah, right. 
Okay, now we already have y1, y2, x1, x2. Everything is there. Okay, so uh, the next uh, for to the for the calculation of NTU. Okay, NTU, NTU we already estimated yesterday. We have find out the formula. NTU is equal to y1 minus y2 by y minus y e ln. So this y e ln is nothing but y1 minus y2 divided by y e ln is nothing but y1 minus y e1 minus y2 minus y e2 divided by ln of y1 minus y e1 divided by y2 minus y e2. So if you remember this formula, you can write easily this formula. Better to remember that much big equation you cannot derive. We it cannot be handy to derive that one. So better to remember this one and uh, mug up this one better. So here we have y1 we already have, y2 we have, y1 we have, y2 we have, y1 we have, y2 we have, but we don't have y1 we don't have and y2 we don't have, y2, y1 we don't have. So we need to estimate that y1 and y2. So how to estimate that one? So to estimate that one, they, they have given one correlation or one slope equation that is y is equal to 30x. Okay, they have given this one y is equal to 30x. Using this one, we can calculate that y e1 and y e2 values. Given that capital Y is equal to 30 into x means we can write this as y e1 is equal to 30 into x1 and y e2 is equal to 30 into x2. So we can estimate. So y e1 is equal to 30 into x1 is just now we estimated 0 0.0017, 0 0.0007. So this is something and y e2 is equal to 30 into x2 is 0. x2 is 0 we are considering pure water. So this is 0. So how much is this one 30 into so nearly you'll get 0 0.002021. Uh, 0 Am I right? 0 0.021? Yes, sir. Yes. So now uh, we will summarize the values, various values. So first one is what is y1? What is y2? What is y1? What is y2? We will summarize the values. Then it will be very easy to calculate NTU. So y1 is equal to 0 0.0526. Yeah. 0 0.0526. This is 0 0.015. Then ye1 just we estimated that is 0 0.021 and ye2 is 0. Now we know yes. that NTS is. Yes. Y2 0 0.0015 sir. 0 0.015. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Then NTU is equal to, we know that Y1 minus Y2 divided by Y1, uh, sorry, Y1 minus Y1, Y1 minus Y1 minus Y2 minus Y2 divided by ln of Y1 minus Y1 divided by Y2 minus Y2. So this one. Now we can calculate Y1 we already have, that is 0 0.0526 minus y2 is 0 0.0015 divided by y1 is already known that is 0 0.0526 minus y1 is already known that is 0 0.021. So this is one step. Then this is y2 is 0 0.0015 minus y2 is 0 whole divided by ln of the same quantities that is ln of y1 is 0 0.0526 minus 0 0.021 divided by 0 0.0015 minus 0. Therefore, you can estimate what is NTU.
So please try to calculate this value. Anybody is doing this one or shall I do? Doing, sir. 5.16. Okay, 5.16. 5.16. So this is number of transfer unit. So no units will be there for this one. But according to the problem, they have given the data. That is Z is equal to something they have given. 420 centimeters they have given. Z is equal to. Given that. Z is equal to 420 centimeter. We know that Z is equal to HTU into NTU. Therefore, we can write HTU is equal to Z divided by NTU. So HTU is equal to Z is 420 centimeter divided by NTU is 5.16. So something in meters you will get. Eighty one point two three seven. Eighty one point two three seven. Okay. Okay, this is the answer. Okay, if you have any doubts, you can ask this one problem. Sir, centimeters or units? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, centimeters. Sorry. Centimeters. Yes. Okay, this is the completion of one problem. We will try to uh, do one more problem. Okay, that problem, I will just explain the data to you. Just you try to uh, solve that problem. Okay, similar basic problem. Somewhat a different twist will be there that we will be doing now. 